Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show how to add some autocomplete into our text box using VB.net and Microsoft Access 2003. Okay, first thing to do is design our form. Let's type here the, or let's drag here some label, and then let's change the text of the label into country name. Okay, and then after that, let's drag some text box. Let's change the autocomplete properties of the text box. To do that, go into the autocomplete source, choose custom source, and then the autocomplete mode, choose the suggest append. Okay, and after that, I'm going to show a bit of my database here. My database here is country database, and then some sample country table here, and some country name, and then some records here. And by the way guys, I place my database inside the project or the solution file of my project. It is located into my project location at the bin here. Just place my database here. Okay, and then after that, double click now on the form. Start coding. Let's declare first our imports. Type here imports. Say paste system that data that db and then okay let's uh, try catch block here let's specify our connections or let's stick there some connection string here type here dimcon as new db connection and then after that let's specify the connection string con that connection string is equals to Provider equals to Microsoft that get that only DB that 4.0. By the way, guys, this Microsoft that get that only DB that 4.0 is our provider since we are using Microsoft Access 2003. And here the data source. The data source is where our database is located. A while ago, I said that my database is located into the solution or the place where my project is located. Or if you don't want, you can just specify your the, the exact location of your database. Okay, and then type here that that backslash name of my database country dot mdb. Okay, and then open the connection con dot open. After that, let's declare our data table, data set, and all the DB data adapter. To do that, type here dim dt as new data table, dim ds oops, as new data set. Is the tables that add dt. And then let's specify now our data adapter. Type here dim da as new all the DB data adapter. Specify our select query here. I'm just going to select asterisk from country table comma con since my database is just a sample or a bit simple here I have only a one country table and one field so I'm just going to use the select asterisk and after that let's fill our data table using our data adapter do so that type here da that fill dt Okay, and then once we fill our data table, or now we'll go specify some data row here. We will use this, or we will use this data row for our for each later. Type here dim r as data row. Oops, that should be data row. Okay, now. Before we add our autocomplete, or we, before we add some records into our autocomplete custom source, so that we will just, or what I mean is that it will always be refreshed. We will first, or we will first uh, clear the autocomplete custom source before adding our records into it. To do that, let's type here text box one, the name of your text box, then autocomplete custom source dot clear here. 
we will first clear our autocomplete custom source so that it will always be refreshed before adding some records to it okay and then after that go to the for each and then type here oops that should be no r uh, in dt that throws okay and then hit enter here now let's going to add the name of your text box text box one the autocomplete custom source that add r or the data row position item zero item zero because it always start at country i have a field here is country which is in a column zero if for example i add some field here the index of that field will be going to be one okay, and then after that let's type here some that to string to use the string okay and then that's it don't forget to close your connection con that close and then if in case an error happen you can just use the try catch block to catch the exception and display it type here message box that show x that's the string the variable for our exception and then okay we are done a simple code for adding autocomplete into our text box now let's test our program okay let's open my database i have a record here china or philippines and peru if i type p c we have now an autocomplete china Japan, U, United States. Okay, guys. Thanks again for watching. If in case you have uh, some question or comments, you can just or feel free to comment. Okay, and then thanks again for watching.